Hey friends, I want to show you the thing I'm so excited to finally have in my office. It's not this studio light, it's not my propagation station, it's not even this TV that I recently hung up. It's this. It's this hanging backdrop. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have one of those. Let me show you how I set it up, the best way you can set it up, and how easy it really is to get one up. Because once you have one, oh man, it completely changes your space. Let's dive right on in. Hey everybody, my name is Greg Barbosa. I run a one-man shop for a photo, video, and web creative agency. If you're interested in that type of content and learning what more of that means, go ahead and hit that subscribe down below. But today, I wanna to talk about this new photo backdrop system that I installed. Over the past few months, I've been turning my office more into like this modular studio space because I wanna record more content, because I want more work to do right at home. When I decided to do this, I realized I didn't have much space to work with but after watching some of Becky and Chris's videos and then some of Lizzie and Chris's videos, I discovered that a 100 square foot room is more than enough space to make this modular studio office. So I started with this backdrop area. So I jumped on and bought these photo diox hanging backdrop system thing. Links are in the description. You can see exactly what I got there. Immediately I knew I was gonna have a problem because I had a plan to only hang this orange roll, but I knew in the future I would want white or black or even gray but I was afraid that it was gonna be way too heavy to hang straight on my drywall. So, called my local handyman, my dad, and he gave me some ideas on what we should do, so we got to work installing it. The first thing he decided on, instead of installing directly on the wall, install it in the ceiling. So. By using a piece of plywood in the attic, we're able to drill from the ceiling up through the attic and into the support plywood. It took a little bit of ingenuity to measure things out and get things placed in the right way. Like at one point we put a screwdriver hole right through the ceiling and then we went into the attic, looked for where that screwdriver was and knew that that's where we would place the plywood. Once we did that though, that thing was firm, it's not coming out the only way that the whole system would fall apart, even with three huge rolls on here, is if somehow it ripped through the drywall, ripped through that support plywood, and then ripped through the beams in the attic. This was a great thing. I feel really secure with it. And honestly, this whole thing's not going anywhere. The challenge we had was measuring the other side because the way the attic works, the roof kind of goes down at a slant, but luckily we're able to measure it out by putting everything down on the floor, giving a good measurement there, measuring within the attic the same amount of distance, and then we found it and just drilled it and we're good to go. One thing I did notice is that this hanging photo backdrop kit doesn't come with any screws. I was kind of confused at first, but I realized they don't want to provide you with screws because if they gave you really crappy screws and you installed it wrong, everything comes tumbling down. We ended up using deck screws, like screws you would use on a porch deck, something nice and sturdy and strong, and that really held down really, really well, and it doesn't show any signs of moving at all. Honestly, after that, we were on such a roll, we just decided to hang up a new TV, which is behind this backdrop, and we even re-ran some ethernet throughout the whole thing. The biggest tip I wanna give you, the biggest thing I wanna tell you on how to do this is measure, 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 and then measure again. We measured, I don't know, countless times, and yet we still got the holes in the wrong location. Like, at one point, we were measuring from the base to the wall, 
and then eventually we discovered that we were supposed to be measuring from the wall to the first screw hole. So that messed things up. And we also discovered that our wall is kind of crooked. Even though we measure straight across, it's more like straight across and at an angle. So definitely measure as much as you can. The second tip I have is if you're going for this ceiling mount system, pop a hole through your ceiling into the attic. Because from there, once you get into the attic, you'll be able to see where that screwdriver is. And then you'll be able to know where to put that support plywood to go ahead and get that screwdriver and placement done properly. One of the biggest issues we had is we started with this small like two by four basically and realized that that wouldn't be wide enough to catch the screws. Like we could be off by an inch or two and we'd get the edge of the plywood. So instead we just went for a bigger piece of plywood and that held everything rock solid in place. And then honestly, the third tip I'd have is make sure to get a buddy or a support or somebody to help. Like even though this whole thing took us three hours to put together, the biggest benefit came in that while my dad was in the attic looking for the screwdriver, I could be down below telling him if he should be closer, further, anything like that. And plus it makes it so much easier to hang up this really heavy roll and making sure you got it on both latches really, really nice and tight. If you liked any of this, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up like it it tells people that it's some good content and maybe somebody else will find some value out of this because i for sure wish i saw this video before i started this whole project all in all it was a big small project that i really loved and i can't wait to use more of i can tell you right now that using this orange backdrop is going to be definitely a challenge i've got like this shower curtain on my window that diffuses the light but the light as you can kind of see it's a little blue but this is orange, so I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to white balance everything properly to look good. But it definitely makes the space look way more professional and way cleaner, and I am so excited for that. All in all, if you got any questions about this setup, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'll reply as best I can. If not, hop on Twitter. I'm pretty active on Twitter too. As usual, all the links to everything I talked about are in the description below. If you wanna learn more about running your own creative agency, working with web and photo video clients, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be producing more content around that. I'll also be starting a vlog talking about my startup and what I've been building. That's gonna be a little bit less produced. I really want it to be raw and in the moment and just kind of go off the cuff and explain to you what I'm going through that day. And with all that being said, go out there and make something you love today. I'll catch you in the next one. Rain, rain. I'm so I need change, break, break the chains, chains, Phoenix, I'm